Hey crew, it's Chris Gilmore here from chrisoutdoors.ca and learnnaturesanguage.com and I've got a great challenge for you. I'm going to try and help you learn to identify four birds by their call in under eight minutes. So this is going to be a really quick and to the point uh, teaching here and hopefully uh, after watching this video you're going to be able to walk around this week and hear all of these birds as you're going about your day. Going to the grocery store, walking through the park, walking through your neighborhood. Now I picked four birds that are pretty common across a large swath of North America. Um, so you'll find them in a lot of different habitats. And I picked four birds that you can find in both urban settings and rural settings to try and make this video helpful for everybody. And I'm gonna share you some little memory tricks that help me actually remember these calls and make them actually stick. So let's dive into it. The first one we're gonna look at here is the American Robin. And, oh, I should mention, all of these birds, we're going to be using the website birdlanguage.com, a phenomenal resource, birdlanguage.com. So you can go and listen to these and learn some other calls after watching it. But the first bird here we're going to get to is the American Robin. And some of you might know this one already, although I wonder if you know it's multiple different voices that it uses. Now, this is a great example for our first call because the memory trick I use for it actually relates to uh, the fact that I didn't actually learn this bird until I was in my 20s. So what it sounds like to me when the robin is singing is it's saying, here I am, where are you? Where are you? Here I am. As if to say, hey Chris, you're 20 years old. I'm right here. Where the heck are you? You don't even know my call? I've been singing in front of you my whole life. Where are you? Here I am. So see if you can hear that with the American robin. The where are you? Here I am. So here I am, where are you? Where are you? Here I am. Let's do that again. So hopefully you could hear that, the here I am, where are you, where are you, here I am. Now we're going to listen to one other call of the robin and this is its alarm call. And this is used when a robin senses some sort of threat. And it very much is in kind of that same tone or pitch, except it's more aggressive. Uh, it does this like tut, 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 tut kind of call. So if you hear a robin doing this call, take a look around and try and see what it's alarming at. It could be a dog, it could be a person, it could be a coyote or a fox for that matter. So that tut, 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 tut call tells you that there's something up. There's a story to solve as a tracker. So Robin has been in front of you its whole life. Here I am. Where are you? Is our call. The next one we'll move on to, another common bird, is the song sparrow. And the way I remember this is I think there's three notes in every song. No, there's not, obviously, but it's a memory trick. Three notes in the song. So the robin often starts off with two or three really distinct call notes, and then it does kind of this little kind of trill that goes all over the place. So it goes one, two, three, dee 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 One, two, three, dee 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 So see if you can hear that. And sometimes it actually just does two, but there's usually two or three distinct call notes and then this little kind of trill that goes afterwards. See if you can hear that here. Now that next call, that's their alarm call. And just like it worked with the robin, the alarm call kind of sounds like it's that same voice that's singing a moment ago, but now it's a little bit more aggressive and just kind of hitting these consistent notes. So let's listen to the alarm call for a minute. Okay, so just to review again, one, two, three, D D D D D is how we're going to remember the song sparrow. Three notes in a song, one, two, three, D D D D D D. Okay, now we're going to move on to the red winged blackbird. And the way that I like to remember the red winged blackbird, it's this blackbird, um, you know, from head to foot, but it has that little red band on the side of its arm. So I think about the red winged blackbird sitting out in the wetland, and it basically, you see that flash of the red that catches your attention, and it says, I'm over here, I'm over here. And sometimes it does this call that sounds like, see you, see you, I'm over here. So think about the red wing being like a, whatever, a spotlight or a flashlight that shines out to you and catches your attention and says, I'm over here. So see if you can hear that.
over here. Great, now we'll listen to the alarm call quickly. So the alarm call almost sounds like an alarm from a car going off. It's not very fast, but you can see that beep, beep, beep. So remember, our trick for remembering the red winged blackbird is that it's doing the, uh, uh, I'm over here while it's shining that little red light off of its wing to catch your attention and saying, I'm over here, or I see you, that's our red winged blackbird. Okay, the last one that we're gonna do in today's series, we're actually gonna move over to a different site and it's allaboutbirds.org. Another really great resource, it's from the Cornell Lab, allaboutbirds.org, and we're gonna listen to the red-breasted nuthatch. Uh, the red-breasted nuthatch, I think of them as the nasally nuthatch. You hear these a ton in the springtime, you hear them around bird feeders, they're often in with the flocks of chickadees, and you might not even notice it's a different bird. But nasally nuthatch is the way I remember it. Nasally nuthatch. Listen to how nasally this call is. So if you hear that nasally, me, 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 that's probably one of the nuthatch species. And there's a few of them. There's the red-breasted, there's the white-breasted, there's some other ones across North America. Uh, but a lot of the nuthatches have this nasally-like call. Let's hear it one more time. So there you go. There's four bird calls with a memory trick in less than eight minutes. Okay, so to finish this video off, we're over our eight minutes now. But I want to make sure that you've got these down so as you're out walking around this week, you start to actually notice and hear them. So let's do a quick little pop quiz as your last test of the night. So I'm going to encourage you to look away from the computer right now, and I'm going to play these four in random order, and let's see how you do. So look away from the computer. You might even want to grab a notebook, and let's go for it. Here's number one. So what was the trick for over here, over here? How were we remembering that one? Okay, number two, we're gonna go with, let's see. So which one did the one, two, three, D, 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 D? What was the trick we taught you for that? So that was bird number two. Here's bird number three. Okay, sounded awfully nasally to me. And our very last bird. Here we go. Which bird is saying, hey, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here I am. Here I am. Where are you? So those were our four birds. Uh, let's go through them in order really quick right now. So the first bird that we played was the red-winged blackbird. Uh, the second bird that we played was the song sparrow. The third bird we played was the red-breasted nuthatch. And the fourth bird was the American robin. So the video ended up going a little bit more than eight minutes, although I believe we did actually cover the first four in that original eight minutes. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, if you want to learn more, then follow this uh, or subscribe to this channel. And you can always go over to my sites, chrisoutdoors.ca or learnnaturelanguage.com for lots more uh, nature awareness learning. Okay, cheers. Have a great day, everybody. Time to head outside and go see if you can hear some of these.